Hello everyone, welcome back on the Jamie Show. It's been a long week, but we're back. And today we'll be talking about relationships and the pros and cons. We'll be talking about talking stages as well. And we'll be talking about how we kind of like, when we would know, like the talking stage is going to be successful. Like we're going to talk about that. So it's going to be a good show. Remember everyone, like the Facebook page on Relax Radio. Remember to download the Relax Radio app. Remember to follow us on Instagram, also Twitter. Remember to check out my socials, which is humus underscore J on Instagram, my YouTube channel, humus J, and also Jamie Richards 19 on Snapchat. So, yeah, relationships, man, they could be such a good thing, but such a bad thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So, it's a bit, it's, you know, when to kind of start <clears throat> a relationship. Do you start at really young? Do you start at really late? You never really know. So it's a bit difficult. What we're going to do first, as we always do, we'll do a what's trending. So we'll see what's trending on Twitter and see if we can get any help, if that makes sense and what people think of relationship, or we could just find out what's trending on Twitter. So let's see. So Danny Yings is trending on Twitter right now. Um, Danny Yings, Danny Yings. Danny Yings trending on Twitter. Hashtag unforgivable. Hashtag unforgivable. That's something. If someone cheats on you, People be putting hashtag unforgivable, which is very, very hilarious. <laughs> um, what else is trending? Southampton is trending. Also politics as well. Alexandri, Oscarius, Cortez, over that about being sorted. She deserves trauma, etc. Yeah, now I remember something to do with um, the husband, isn't it? We asked um, COVID experts what summer 20 will be like. That I don't know what that's going to be like, man. That is going to be, pff, boy. We don't know that, but that's a different topic. Not much trending on Twitter that can help us, really. But yeah, let's get into it. So relationships, man. I've only been in one. I've only been in one, and that was kind of a short relationship. So that one, that relationship was for a month and a bit. But we were in the talking stage for a month. And personally, how it ended, I think because it was kind of we moved things quite too fast. So. Some people don't really like that. Some people do like that. For me, I don't really have a problem with, like, how fast a relationship goes or how slow it goes. I just think that there shouldn't be any unwritten rules when it comes to relationships. There shouldn't be. Because a lot of people say you've got a, you've got a, um, you can't kiss on the first date. A lot of people say you can't even meet the parents in the first six months. <clears throat> so it's like, how can you go six months with dating someone constantly out the house? and you can't see their parents like your parents are going to wonder what you're doing outside the house especially if you're my age or a little bit younger like a lot of the time your parents are going to be asking you why do you keep coming up the house and you can't keep lying saying oh, i'm gonna go see my friends and everything it's impossible but if you keep telling if you just tell them yeah you're seeing someone they would want to see them they would want to see who's making their son or daughter happy which is something that i i i think that should be in probably the first two months, I think, depending on how, what's the talk, what the talk stage is like. If you're seeing each other all the time, if you're not seeing others all the time, it's a bit difficult. So ideally, I think the first two months, you should definitely like consider making your parents see like, it, it is, there's, there shouldn't be any, like I said, there shouldn't be any unwritten rules. What we're going to do as well, what we always do on the show, we're going to go on Instagram Live as well, get all people's thoughts. Um, yeah, and then see what they think of relationships. So let's just be exactly. Exactly. I don't want to see that happy person. Don't really want. They want to know who's making the son happy. Who's not there to get upset? <laughs> but that Instagram will get other people's as well. But yeah, there shouldn't be any unwritten rules when it comes to relationships. If August is two months, three months. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't, there should be any written rules. So, there's weird ones. It's not the first day. You hug on the well, from the you really call the first day. You can't, obviously, do certain things on the first day. 
that shouldn't be any other rules, man. It's, it's, it, that's, that's just, that just that shouldn't be the case. And probably to do the whole thing, so we might like, we we done quite quick, to be fair. We done it quite quick, our parents and everything, which I was like, raw. Like this is my first relationship, so I was like, okay, like this is something different. I've had, any, I've never been around anyone's house, so I was like, okay, this is different. And I thought, well, like this is the kind of place that people go. First relationship, what we kind of experienced, and I know what to do. Um, so I was just going in deep, and then just kind of go. And obviously, obviously, it turns out it didn't go well. But other than that relationship, I think personally, me, but my relationship. If you get what I'm saying, that for me, if, if you have a connection with one person, if you have a connection with um, a, obviously the opposite partner, like if you want to go, if you want to be with them forever, then that's 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 up to you. That's completely up to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like obviously, people in the Instagram talk about relationships, so put your thoughts in, and then let the face of the partner as well. But yeah, if you have a connection with someone you can be with them no I mean, let them know let them know you would like to be with them let them know you want to be in a relationship this world's too small this world's it's got it's got such a fast pace like last week short for you to get I don't know what to do I don't know if you like someone let them know let them know at the end of the day the worst thing to happen is they say no nothing, nothing remorse nothing Mad will happen, do you get what I'm saying? So if you like someone, let them know because the worst thing you can say is no. Do you get what I'm saying? You're gonna be you're gonna be bad for like five minutes or whatever. But end of the day, you got your feelings out there. If it's not where it is, it's not where it is, you know what I'm saying. People miss the trend now. We're just getting our thoughts on relationships, the benefits, pros and cons, T's and D's <laughs> terms and conditions of relationships, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, relationships, it's fun. I'm not going to lie to you, it's fun. When you have that one connection with someone, it's fun. Exactly. If you have that one connection, if you have that one connection with someone, it's lit. I'm not going to lie to you. There's, there's, I'll, tell you I'll tell you the benefits. Obviously, it's that one person. So you're always going to be speaking to someone. That one person, you're, you're always going to be with them 24 Like, do you know what I'm saying? Speak to them all the time. You can do them. Not 24 anyway. I think with someone 24 7 in this lockdown it's shown that people can't be with certain people for 24 hours like all the time that they can't handle it they can't and that's where i go back to when you've a lot of people don't really think about who they get they don't do you know what i'm saying like they all they all think about what they do or what they have they don't think about the long-term stuff for example i.e if you for example you're trapped you're trapped to one person because they do a certain thing, that's it. They're not gonna get far in a relationship. If they if they don't if they if for example, let's say a footballer, if someone all they care about is someone that's done, that that plays football, they get a long term injury, they can't play football anymore. They can't support they can't get that income that they kind of get anymore. And then what next have they got? You know what I'm saying? And the girls will feel like, oh, like this is not, they're not used to this. So they can't be with them. And that's the problem with the people that get into relationships nowadays. They always go for what they do. They don't go for that type of person. They don't think about the long term thing. Do you get what I'm saying? But let me your thoughts if you're going to be on the live or if you're going to be on the relaxed radio um, Facebook page or it's going to be on my channel get your thoughts let us know what you think about relationships the pro and con the tease do you know what I'm saying Bella what's up Bella but yeah back to what I was saying about always pick making sure when you're getting with someone you're not doing it just because you do a certain thing making sure that their personality banks making sure that you can brag about them Bruno Bruno but yeah, making sure you can brag about them to your friends, making sure they can support you, make they can communicate, because communication is key. And we'll go into a bit of what is important in a relationship. We'll talk about that. But um, making sure that 
they support you, making sure that they're reliable. There, there, there are loads of things that could go in a relationship. But if you're going to get with someone, don't get with them for the wrong reasons, man. Don't get with them for the wrong reasons. Don't get with them because they do something or they have a certain amount of money or they have a certain amount of clout. At the end of the day, it's not going to go far because when all those things go, you're not going to get far in a relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so it's so important for that man. It's so important. But like, like I said, going to deep before that, like, obviously the second part of the show, I feel that that's important to talk about what are the benefits and what are obviously <clears throat> the negatives. Other than that, people, relationships are lit, man. They're, they're, there's no problems with them. I remember my best, probably, I think the best part of relationships was probably not the first part of the talk stage, but kind of like the middle part where you're like, oh, snap, like this is becoming real. Like this is becoming something, you know what I'm saying? And that's the exciting part. Like you get the butterfly and everything. So someone said, well, personally, I feel like relationships are always meant to be two way street. All feeling must come from both sides. Exactly that. Exactly that. Because in the day, if the feelings aren't there, if feelings aren't mutual, then it's not that's not gonna get far either. Like you've got to kind of have the same got a couple of people in your life. You've got to have the same feelings, man. You can't be on a different page. Like you can't be on page ten and this person's on page three two. You know you've got to be on the same page. They save my friend. You know, in a bit. But yeah, that's that's exactly that. Um someone said in life. Um, making sure that feelings are the same. If you're in a relationship, someone loves you more than the other, I'm telling you now, it's not going to work. It will never work because you're not, once you put in more effort in your, that, especially, especially, it'd be fair, but it's, that comes not even just in the relationship, that comes in the talking stage. You can't, if someone's not feeling you like that, but you're talking to them, what's the point? You can't, it, you can't exit people, you can't exit, don't, don't try and don't try and rekindle something that's sound like Doctor Phil. <laughs> I'm Doctor Phil. Come on, man, Doctor Phil. <laughs> I'm saying no, it's facts, though. It's fact, like you know, mutual feelings key. I can't, I can't, like I'm when I was in the talking stage, and I was putting more effort in than the other person, and then all of a sudden, boom! Like I've got a pie in my face. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel, don't ever be, don't, one thing as well, people, don't get used. That's the one thing you shouldn't get used, man. Don't, people that use you, it's not the one, man. It's not the one. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, people thinking I'm Dr. Phil. I'm your Steve Harvey, the Dr. Phil's. I'm your Jamie Foxx. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm all of that more than one. I'm, I'm a, I am can be mad. I've been through the experience. I've been mad, but I can look, I can read. Everything and I can learn it, <laughs> but we're still going to break. What I'm going to do is I want to talk about obviously the cons. Like I'm going to deep thoughts of what certain things you should do in a relationship, what certain things you shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? But we'll be going to break soon. Thank you everyone who's tuned in. Gave me death thoughts. Call me Doctor Phil. But cool. We're gonna we're gonna go probably on a little break. Um, but remember, people, download the Rush Video app. Remember to like the Facebook page and follow us on Instagram and stuff. Cause we're post consistently. We're growing as a, we're growing as a radio station. It's gonna be lit. What's people's thoughts on using it? We've got a lot of people in the live, but make sure if you want to tune in um, separately, go on to the link. Go on to the Facebook. Um, actually, your Facebook app, um, not app, Facebook page on um, on Facebook. But yeah, we've got a lot of people in there, man. It's going to be a little short, short. But yeah, people, I'll be back. One second. Back in a minute. <laughs>
What's up, my people? And we are back on the Relax Radio, on the Jamie Show, talking about relationships. <clears throat> We've just been getting people's thoughts and what they think of relationships and how um, the pros and cons and what not to do. But what we're going to do is, <clears throat> this second part of the show, we're going to be going to a bit more depth and just talking about what to do and what not to do, um, because I feel like that's important. Um, we obviously we get people's like opinions in the live and everything. So um okay, cool. Let's just checking, checking if nothing else. Well, I heard the sound. But yeah, no. We relate like I said, relationships are can be good, <clears throat> but you shouldn't get into them for the wrong reasons, man. I feel like the per the most obviously someone said it in the live before and I want to go into a bit more depth of that. Communication, man, is so key. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going. <clears throat> Let me get a drink. Ah, a lot better, a lot better. So, if you get if my voice sounds a bit quicker, cause... <clears throat> but yeah, no people, communication, man, it's it's never if communication has to be key. End of the day, if no one's letting you know where they are. If you're not even calling the person, and if you're not even texting the person on a regular basis, then what's the point? Um, I'm a firm believer of if you're talking to someone, that's the one person you're talking to. They should always be, they should always, not always be your priority. They should always be there. So there's no other reason why you shouldn't be replying to them, even calling them, do you get what I'm saying? Or even seeing them. And even letting them know how they are, man. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go loud now. Letting people get this for quickly yeah letting people letting letting your partner know how they are man like how they are like how they doing like how they eating like communicate with like if you're if you're with someone the best thing to do always making sure they're okay you should you net you never ever want to like always ask them raw like have you eaten today like how was your day today communication is key man Wow, so many people jumped in the live already. But yeah, this part we're talking about pros and cons people. Dr. Phil here. <laughs> Dr. Phil here. But um if they've eaten, if they're all right, have what have they done today, always communicate with someone, man. You never want you never wanna not talk to that partner. Because what's the point? Guy, you could just be single again if you're not gonna be a sun shining on me. <laughs> but yeah, you never communication is key, man. Communication is key. Second part, definitely want to say being reliable. That partner's going to want to need you there, like whenever they need you. For example, if they need to go to the doctors and they need you there, they don't feel comfortable going by themselves, like they're relying on you to be like, right, yeah, I could be there. You don't have to. Obviously, if you're busy, you're busy. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's calm. But if, if you need someone there for you sometimes, you need someone to rely on, someone to hold, hold something for you, like, you need that person to be reliable and whatever you're holding. I don't know what you're holding, but whatever you're holding, make sure that you're reliable to hold that 
Do you get what I'm saying? And even when it comes into later on in the thing, when you want to get, for example, marriage or whatnot, the moment I find a girl, I know who I'm coming to. Yeah, listen, the advice I'm saying, it's it's the one, man. It's the one. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Dr. Phil. I'm Steve Harvey. I'm Jamie Foxx. I'm all of them rolled into one. And who's that new person that's giving that advice? I can't remember his name. Is it that? Do I don't know. Obviously, I don't know who Dr. Phil was. I'm just going off what someone told me on there, innit? Oh, no. Dr. Phil's the one um, that done the Catch Me Outside girl. Is that the one? Is that the one? If that's the one, let me know, innit? If that's the one, let me know. I think that's it. I think that's him. Dr. Phil. You know what? Let's search up Dr. Phil, actually, before I get, before I get slated on there. <laughs> Wait, quickly. Hold up, people. Dr. Phil. Dr. Dr. Phil. Ah, it's him! Ah, it's him! Ah, it's him! Ah, you're good. <laughs> oh, people, obviously, someone call me Dr. Phil, and I've just realised who it is. Oh, my days. What a legend. Shout out him, man. If you ever see this, shout out him. I'm getting my... People are saying I'm you. We're, we're brothers now, isn't it? We're brothers now. Guy was saying he's Dr. Phil, didn't know who he is. No, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I'm not going to lie. I had a feeling. There's that new guy that's come out. And he does the whole lit um a kind of talk relationship talk. I think he's from America. I can't remember his name in it, but it is what it is, isn't it? That's funny. You call me Dr. Phil. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Something that I think that also is important as well, yeah. I feel like what's what's that word? It's that word. 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 Oh, it's that word. How can I explain it? So how can I explain it? How can I explain it? I'm thinking, people. It's a word. I hate when I do this. It's a word that I'm trying to... Everyone show, show everyone can see you and hear you. Oh, what's that word called? What's that word? Yeah, no, quickly, people. Quickly, people. What is probably kind of the worst thing kind of to do in a relationship? Let me know. What's the worst thing to do? Like, for me, the worst thing to do, yeah... Is liking people, liking stuff on, liking other things on Instagram. I think that's a given. I think that's a given, man. I feel like liking other people's stuff. For example, like for example, a male. If you're liking up body pictures with the abs out and that, and I my abs aren't even showing, like raw, like and you're liking that. That's stuff you like. The thing, if that's happening, yeah, girls, let us know. Like you like that stuff, we could definitely improve. But at the end of the day, you've got to be going with someone. You can't be, you've got to be going with someone that you like them for who they are. Not, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be going for people that like you like that, but you don't, he doesn't have that. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like everyone should go for their type. Go for your type. Like, if you have a type, stick to it. Because, boy, if you go for the type that you don't want, you're not going to be in there, look. I'm telling you, you're not going to be in there, look. Have your specific type. Me, I like a mad gemma. So, I'm only good. I only want my gemma, so I wait for my gemma. Do you get what I'm saying? If you don't know who my gemma is, present our uh, celebrity. Do you get what I'm saying? Shout, if you're watching this, my gemma, shout me, <laughs> shout me. <laughs> but yeah, me go for your type, man. Don't ever think to yourself, bro. Like I like, I like myself a big, big guy, bolo, and then boom, you're going out with um, skinny McMahon. It's not the one. It's not the one. Skinny McMahon ain't gonna ain't going to give you what Bolo man would give you. Do you get what I'm saying? He won't give you that. So make sure you go for your type. Make sure that, do you know what it is there yeah, with me? With me anyway, I don't like materialistic girls. So I don't like girls who, like, who all they care about is designer. Gucci, Prada. I don't like girls like that. I like girls who have a bit, like, who's humble with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, with me, there's that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> with me design <laughs> with me things that I, like high maintenance that's basically it that's the word that's it high maintenance people don't for me anyway I don't think that's smart people with high main some people's type aren't there aren't there hair type aren't there so someone says some people's type aren't I think so I think people saw that. some people's type aren't their type. Okay. I think, is that what you said? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll run it. We'll run that. But yeah, they're not their type. I'm telling you now, people will be like, yeah, I like a big boy. But the guy who was skinny, man, then let him boil your range over. 
Ah, oh, it's parked up in my front and it just just drop it in it like you can get that. But um, I'll give it back. I promise. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, they basically said you have some people's types aren't their types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not their types. High maintenance. Oh, let me go back to what I was saying because I don't want to lose my track of thought. High maintenance people. I don't think I, that's not the one. Someone with high maintenance. It ain't the one, man, because all they care about is that stuff. Don't get me wrong. If you've got the money to provide and everything, cool. But some people are out there doing payment plans and they're gassed about this, that, the other. Don't get me wrong. Payment plan is calm. It breaks down the payment. Don't be bragging you've got bare bread and you're doing payment plans. It's not the one, people. It's not the one. Look me. ASOS. ASOS. I'm an ASOS, man. So any girl that like an ASOS man, shout me, shout me, shout me. But that's one thing, high maintenance, high maintenance. I'm telling you now, the next thing is key, sense of humour. I'm telling you now, if you get a girl that has no sense of humour, what, you can't get onto her? Long, long day. If you can't get onto your partner, like banter, can't play fight, you can't do any of that, get out of the relationship, because that relationship is going to be dead. Like, it's going to be dead, people. Like... If it's not fun, like how can you how can you have a relationship where it's not even fun? Makes no sense, people. Let me know your thoughts in the Insta Live or Insta Insta, not Insta, Facebook Relax Radio. Let me know your thoughts. Because I don't think I don't think that can't be that can't. If you have someone with a dead sense of humor, nah man. Especially me as well. I'm bubbly. I'm I like to bust jokes in it. But if you're gonna out if, if I have a girl and she's not really kind of making me laugh, or I can't even make her laugh. Or I can't even joke around and say, oh, she's wearing that or you look like this or you look like that. The relationship ain't going to go far, man. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not going to go far. What's people saying? Won't go far. So get someone that's going to make you laugh, that's going to, that you can get onto, that you can banter with. Because it's not, the relationship won't go far if, it, if that's the case, man. I'm telling you now, it won't go far. And you won't have fun. You won't have fun. I remember I used to get onto my ex about her jeans and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? That used to be lit. It used to be lit. So, people showing love in the life. Love it. Love it, man. Love it. Another thing, man. Personality. Personality. And I know I said something always sense of humor, but personality, you got to have... Oh, you love? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you got to have something about you, man. you got to have something like, you know what? I can brag about you to the man them. I could I like not just your looks and everything. Cause at the end of the day, if you if you care what other people look like about your girl, then that won't go far either. Like if my girl, if your girl, if my girl looks like a 10 to me, but she looks but you're saying she's a three. Please get out of there. I won't ever care what anyone thinks about what my girl looks like. Do you get what I'm saying? Never. My girl's a 10, she's a 10 to me, no one else. So people, don't care what anyone else thinks. Sham, Shama Chowdhury actor, what's up? We here, we live, we lit. We also in the Insta live as well. Just getting a different different avenue, different views of other people, do you get what I'm saying? Advertise for one pound, but yeah. Oh yeah, quickly, people, advertise with us for one pound only on the Relax Radio app, on Relax Radio, sorry. Advertise us for one pound. Come on, support the thing, support the thing, support the thing. People shine love, people shine love. <laughs> yeah, man, personality, have something about you because you can't, that, I'm telling you people, I'm telling you now, all the things I'm saying, I'm making sure you go far in a relationship because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not, obviously I'm not being in bed, I've only been in one, but like, I kind of learned a lot in terms of talking stages. And we'll talk about talking stages and in the um, third part of the show, last part of the show, actually, because I, yeah. But um, we'll talk about talking stages in the next part. We'll talk about when you know it's going to be a talk, like when you know it's going to get that feeling, you know that feeling, that, bu that, that butterfly feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what? Wow, like, damn! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, personality something huge for me man and have someone that's ambitious i'm um, um, ambitious someone that is ambitious someone that you want to go you want to create an empire you want to create a kingdom you want to create 
a legacy. Like, have someone like that, man. Have someone you want to make something on this relationship. You don't want to just have an original relationship where you grow old and that's it. You want to be able to look back. Look back in that relationship and be like, raw. we actually had a lit time. We created something. Our son, ancestors and everything, we've created that kind of thing. And if, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not saying if you're saying yeah, yeah to what I'm saying, but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with that, we'll run with that, we'll run with that. We've got people, we've got, it's been a decent show, people. Love for people that stayed in, tuned in. Do you know what I'm saying? All appreciated, uh, all appreciated, all appreciated. Do you get know what I'm saying? Facts. It's facts, man, it's facts. Tell you now, people, I'm, I'm, I'm your guy. Any, any, any marriage counselling, I'm your guy, do you get know what I'm saying? I won't let you down. And if, if you got a boyfriend, you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, let them know what I want. Let them know what I want. Let them know what I want. We need to create something. We need to do something. YouTube, like, whatever. Do something, man. Like, these original relationships don't... Like, they're not old enough to know, like, like old school relationships. Like, the old school ones. I'm going to talk about thingy. Like I said, on what relaxed radio, your opinions, so whatever you want to say, it's a safe space, it's a safe space, <laughs> so make sure you let me know what you think, and obviously I'm here, if you have any opinions on what you got to say, what I've said, let me know, let me know, but we're going to go on a quick break, and then I'll probably the last part of the show, talk is what to do, what not to do. I've had a lot, I've had, and then obviously we've we'll got a bit of dating as well. Because I don't think that, pff, boy, it's a good one, isn't it? So I'm going to go on a quick break, people. I should be back for the last 15 minutes of the show. I'll be back, people. I'll be back.
Yes, yes, people, and we are back. Let me just fix this. Yes, yes, people, we are back on the Jamie Show, the latest show on a Tuesday morning. We are back, and we've been talking about relationships, pros and cons, what to do, what not to do, what to do for the long-term stuff, what not to do for the short-term stuff, types and everything. It's been a good show. We've had people's thoughts on the Instagram Live and also some people's thoughts on um on the Relax Radio um stream. But it's been a good show. Few things, people, remember sure to like the Relax Radio app. No, like the Relax Radio Facebook page. Remember to download the Relax Radio app. Remember to follow us on Instagram and also Twitter as well. Also, follow my socials, my lit socials, humorous underscore J, my Instagram, Snapchat Jamie Richards19, and also my YouTube channel, which is humorous J. Let's get it. But cool, people. Obviously, we've got people's thoughts on the Instagram live and everything. Um, it's been funny. Someone called me Dr. Phil, and I didn't even know who he is, and I found out who he actually is. I'm not the same colour as him or anything, but we 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 share the same res- resemblance. Like we share the same outcomes, the out the thoughts. Like you get what I'm saying. But I said, people, I'm Jamie Fox. I'm Steve Harvey. All rolled into one. I'm a marriage counsel, relationship counsel, jack of all trades, <laughs> jack of all trades. <laughs> but yeah, inside joke, people, inside joke. But this part, last part of the show, but before I have to leave, I have to love you and leave you lot. We'll be talking about. Um, <laughs> we'll be talking about talking stages with, because with that one, yeah, it's weird. I know I said, I know I mentioned it in the first part of the show, but talking stages can be weird, man. It can be, we- I'm done with this guy. <laughs> it can be weird, man. Like, when do you know, like, it's going to go far? Like, when do you know, like, when are certain things, when that person gives you that red heart, when they finally comment on your Snapchat story, like when do you know like it's going? It's a successful talk stage. You know what I'm saying, I've had not, I've, I've not had a lot in it, but I've had a good few amounts. And only a certain, only a handful of people know that. But um, a talk stage because it's just it's just an awkward stage, man. Because are they talking to someone else? Are they talking to you? Like what? What? Like you don't know? You don't know? So you have to go off vibes. You have to go off energy. You have to go off what they're kind of giving you. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's so annoying, man. It's, the talking stage is the, probably the most difficult part, <clears throat> I think. The relationship's easy. you just got to keep doing what you're doing. you got to keep consistent, stay reliable, and just keep communicating with them. But the talking stages, what can you do? Like, do you, start, do you only talk to that one person, or do you talk to other people to kind of don't leave one egg in one basket? So... It's, it's that's a tricky one. I could never. I don't know what advice to give for that one. I think personally, just stay. Just keep. How can I say it? Keep stay to your morals in it. Like if you're if you don't talk to if you're someone that doesn't talk to hardly anyone in the talking stage. If you're yeah, if you're hardly someone that talks to anyone in the talking stage, like stay st- stick to your morals. Like don't kind of. Do what other certain people do. Like, don't if that person talks to bad people, you just don't talk to bad people. Like, don't, don't, don't fall into traps of what other people do. Stick to what you do. If you don't talk to anyone in talk stage, you just talk to one person, then that's fine by you. If you're someone that does that with bad people and whatever, and then you still you're still talking to someone, stick to your morals. Exactly that. People know, man. Stick to your morals. Then sticks. Like I said. Stick to your morals. Don't change it. Don't change it. And it's weird, man. What do you do? Like, for me, if I'm talking to someone, I need to see them once a week or at least, like, twice a week or not even just at the start. Obviously, at the start, you see once a week. As you gradually go, you see them at least twice, three times a week. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, because at the end of the day, you don't really want to die out. you got to make sure you're seeing that person on a regular basis. Regular basis. You like someone, let them know exactly that. Got a couple of people here joining in the live. You know what I'm saying? Even dating as well, man. Dating is a weird one. Like, where do you take someone to date nowadays? Obviously, now it's a bit difficult. But where's your favorite place to take someone on a date? For me, somewhere active. Somewhere where you know it's going to be lit and you can get your personally out there. Meet there with meet where I could base it. Exactly that. Yeah. What's good, G? Yeah, we good out here, man. We good, we good. Yeah, man. Somewhere active. Never take anyone on a dinner date. 
dinner date in cinema are the worst dates to go to, yeah. If you're if you're if you're first talking to someone, if you're with them, that's calm. Cinema's blessed. But if you're in the talking stage and what you want to take them cinema and sit down and watch a movie, or you want to go on a dinner day, sit down and just talk, nah, that's dead, man. That's dead for me. Nah, because I'll get bored quickly, innit? I'll get bored quickly. Because I'm going to hear you talk anyway. Thanks for letting us know. Come on, I'm Dr. Phil. As my boy told me, I'm Dr. Phil. I am Steve Harvey. I'm Jamie Foxx rolled into one. I'm all of those things. I'm a marriage counsel slash relationship talker. I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> but yeah, um, that saying, we're inside joke, people. That saying, forever make me laugh. But yeah, dinner dates and cinemas are no go. I would say, junk, um, mini golf. Can't do any brand stuff. Mini golf. Um, where else? Um, Bowling, bowling is a lit one. Arcade, they're lit, man. They're lit places. Even theme park, that's somewhere lit you can go to. I've taken somewhere there before, um, and that ended up being a relationship. So, people, man, I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. But yeah, man, we've had a, we've had a very good show talking about relationship. If you're just joining in now, where would you take a girl out then? First time, arcade, easily. People, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Arcade, yeah, arcade. Actually, hmm, no. Mini golf, crazy golf, mini golf, crazy golf. Best place to go to, cause like if they're not good at it, like you can banter with them, and if they can, and then that's when you know, that's when you know, wow, like this is the person for me. If you like someone who kind of likes to joke around and everything, do you get what I'm saying? So defo, crazy golf. Another pe place I could suggest bowling, bowling. But in a way, if they've got their nails done, if you've got the girls who have the nails done, like up to here then it's not going to work. They have to use the support team. <laughs> imagine, girl, you, imagine the first day you've got to use support team. That's an L. But um, ideally just somewhere active, man. Ideally somewhere active. Somewhere where you know you can, ha you can talk and bust jokes. And you can also see funny stuff. In a restaurant, you're not really going to see fu some funny stuff because like, they're sitting down, tucking in, eating. It's not going to be fun. But in... No, it's true. Some of you girls got the long nails in that. So you got to, you got to push. Ah! Got to push. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. But yeah, get, um, get yourself a girl that can put, that can have a bowling ball, man. Get yourself a girl that can do that. <laughs> but somewhere active people, definitely. Second date, we'll go, we'll talk stages. Second date, I'll probably up the ante a bit. Ideally, somewhere we're active to take a girl for a date. Easily, people. Easily. Easily. Ideally, second day, theme park. I'll give you a lot of my experience of what I've done. Theme park, definitely. I get what you mean. Yeah, cinema and restaurants are too basic, innit? It's it's basic, man. It's basic. You're not really gonna what you're gonna sit down, talk about the meals nice and everything. Listen, first, I'm telling you now, do that in like the fourth day. Like, do that when you're actually together, like dinner date. Because then you obviously look to dress up nice and everything, and people will know why you look thingy. Don't get me wrong, a local restaurant thing. It's fine, but for me anyway, if you're going to go out to eat, do it up proper. Do it up proper, because everyone goes to these TGIs and everything. Do that as, like, if you're going to take someone to a restaurant, make sure you have something planned after. For example, something active. Get something to eat quickly. Go TGIs quickly. You can get something to eat. This man knows. I'm a Dr. Phil. My boy, listen, my boy knows me, man. He knows I'm a Dr. Phil. And I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> Nah, do you know what it is? It's just got it's just going off experience. And I'm not saying that I'm just out there just dating people. But end of the day, like for example, I'll give you a lot of my advice on this. If you're talking to someone, if you're talking to someone and it's not failed, pe listen, there's millions of people in the world, man. Don't get upset if one person doesn't want to talk to you anymore or that that talk stage just failed. Move on. Go again. There's no problem. The process of you finding someone is your process. And that's the best thing I can give you. You're here. You're here at my work, my G. Come on, man. Yeah, people, I'm telling you now, the process is your process. If you, if your way of seeing, finding out the, um, finding out your potential or your, your true one 
is going on bare different dates, then that's your process. Don't let anyone tell you, wow, you're just out here just dating people. No, that's your process. If you're if you're someone who dates who does who dates someone every three months, like an eclipse, every 12 years, is it? Imagine dating someone for every 12 years, like you do a talk to you every 12 years. L. But that's your process, people. And then whatever you want to do for a date and everything, yes, I can give you my advice and whatnot, and then what to do. But at the end of the day, if you wanna, <clears throat> if you wanna do a date, do a dinner date. But my advice is that will just, it's just, it'll just get dead in it. Everyone does dinner dates, man. If you're gonna do a dinner date, do it up proper, where you've got the maxi dresses, you've got the shirt, the Burberry, you've got your um, what's the other one? Oh, Burberry. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's a, there's a shirt. What's, no, what's the shirt? No, I don't know. People, I'm getting it up. Of course. I'm not saying it because people are going to get at me. No, but people are going to get at me for this. Ralph, Polo, Ralph Lauren, that's it. Nearly held myself. Oh my God. I nearly held myself. But yeah, you got where the Ralph Lauren, the Burberry shirt. Like, and when you with, when you when you know, and also even even if yeah, here's a better idea. If you wanted to kind of let the person know, like, yeah, you're with them, dinner date. Like, you want them to be with you for the rest of your life, a dinner date. Sit down there. And I'll give you a lot of scenario. Oh yeah, you've been dating for a while, and I want to take you out somewhere nice. And obviously, you're both looking nice and everything. You just let them know. Yeah, I want you to be me. I want you to be mine do you know what i'm saying so dinner date is to let them know like you that you want them to be together but therefore people showing me love man people loving the relationship talk want more of this let me know i can do an insta live on a regular basis we can talk about this we can get even people guests on there i always get guests on there but right now because of covid is a bit difficult but we want guests on there we can talk about their relationship they're comfortable with it obviously because we're all about confidentiality but <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys want people to come in talk about relationships let me know dm me if you want to have a if you want to we could even do let's say a segment where um obviously people's relationship like past experiences would you write that like, we could do a lot of that but people that's the end of the show i've got to run I'm not run exactly i've got to go to work i've got to make my more laugh but people thanks for tuning in remember Download the Relax Radio app, remember to like us on the Facebook page, remember to follow us on Instagram and also Twitter. I'm always sharing it, so check my story and I'll be putting it out there. Remember to follow up my socials, humus underscore jail. So if you're on the Instagram live, you don't have to, you already got me. But my Snapchat is Jamie Richards19. I'm also on my YouTube channel, which I'm trying to get up, uploading consistent content on there soon. Humus J, my people, gotta love you and leave you. I'm over and out. Peace.